Well, Cody, congratulations on a great start to the 2019 season. I know the last couple of years were frustrating. You, you battled some injuries, but to this point, knock on wood for you, you're winning that battle. What's the start to the year been like for you? Uh, it, you know, it's just been a lot of hard work and, um, you know, finally coming back to, you know, being who I am as a pitcher and, you know, to be healthy and uh, to go out there and to, uh, you know, approach every day is a new day and, uh, you know, just take every game as one start at a time. And, uh, you know, it's been working so far and hopefully I uh, can keep that going throughout the season. I know talented young players, all players really appreciate the game every day. But when you've had some injuries and you've missed some time, does it make that appreciation almost grow for you? Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, it's one of those things where when something's taken away from you, it, uh, it makes it so much sweeter when you're able to, you know, compete and, you know, get back to a point where, you know, you know that you can pitch to the you know, fullest of your ability. And uh, I wouldn't trade, you know, those injuries or the struggles for anything because, you know, I definitely appreciate the game and being able to show up every day and uh, play the game I love way much more. Well, let's talk about that stuff. These four starts are really good for the Keys. 169 average against, 097 whip. Strikeout rate is good. I heard in your last start the stadium gun had some 94s and 5s. All that's really great. Uh, what has been the key to these four really strong starts? Um, I think I'm going back to kind of the mindset where I am going to throw, you know, my best weapon in any count, no matter what it is. And uh, I've been able to throw my off speed, you know, two one counts, three one counts, keep hitters off balance, and then coming in hard with my fastball. And, you know, just having a complete mix and to be able to throw all of my off speed pitches in any count, I think that's been the, you know, the biggest, you know, plus side for me so far this season. And, um, you know, it's one of those things where if you can do that, you know, your fastball looks a lot harder. And uh, no, no hitter is going to be able to time you up. No pitcher can predict the future with health, but after 17 and 18 and, and battling through that, uh, knocking on wood hard here, do you feel like that's all uh, going to be a thing of the past? Do you, do you have any concerns moving forward? Uh, I don't have any concerns, but it's one of those things where the moment where I tried to not get injured, I got injured. You know, once you take your foot off the gas a little bit, you know, bad things start to happen. And uh, so right now I'm, you know, just pushing forward and trying to get the most out of my body on my arm every day. And it's been working. And, uh, you know, I continue. I, I believe that that's going to continue. And I think that they are. It is in my past. And I'm just taking it day by day and uh, getting stronger every single day. You look at pitching prospects in the Oriole organization, fans are excited about you. You've got D.L. Hall with you there in Frederick. We've seen what Zach Louther can do. Grayson Rodriguez, what a great start at Delmarva. Keegan Aiken is a, is a AAA now. Um, do you guys feel like you're going to be the next wave uh, that Oriole fans can be excited about their future with that group? Oh, absolutely. Um, the... You know, the confidence in, you know, the process right now with um, the new front office and all the new, you know, coaches and everything has been, you know, unbelievable. And uh, to know that, you know, any job is up for grabs and that there's always going to be the opportunity for advancement that really brings, you know, a good atmosphere to the clubhouse, no matter how someone's pitching or anything. You know, everyone knows that if they perform and if they, you know, do well that they're going to have the opportunity to move up where a lot of organizations it's not like that where you know no matter how you pitch you're kind of feel kind of stuck and uh you know it's been great so far and i'm looking forward to seeing what we all can do in the future well cody last thing this is an exciting time for you on the field but i understand this winter was an exciting time for you off the field you had some amazing an amazing trip you had an amazing personal event in your life. I'm sure you know what I'm referring to. Can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, in, uh, in November, you know, my girlfriend at the time and I went, to, uh, went on a Europe trip. We went to Barcelona, Spain, Rome, Italy, uh, Santorini, Greece, and Dublin, Ireland. And uh, I got down on one knee in Santorini, Greece on top of a, uh, you know, a rooftop with um, Blue Dome churches in the back. And uh, it was, and uh, she said yes, and now we're engaged, and we're getting married in December. Wow, that had to take some planning. Uh, yeah, it, actually, it I planned it the day before it happened. So I had a, uh, 
I had a lot of a lot of help. I uh, just messaged a photographer in uh, Santorini, Greece, and he helped me find a great place to do it. And um, you know, I had the ring and I brought it over there and everything. But it was actually kind of a quick thing that, thank goodness, it, it happened and it worked out so well. <laughs> Cody, that's a fantastic story. Congratulations on that. Congratulations on your great start. You've earned the right to, again, knock on wood, to have a lot of health and a lot of success in your future. And uh, good luck, young man. Thank you. Thank you for having me.